You do not need a belief to recognize yourself. You don't need spiritual practices. You don't need meditations. You don't need mantras. You don't need anything. You don't need anything to reveal and revel in what is. Everything you see, feel, perceive, everything that's appearing is totality. There is no past, present, or future. Only when there is personal identity or fractalization, which is also an appearance of totality, does it seem like there is a past, a present, and a future. And that knowing of past, present, and future plugs you in to a concrete reality seemingly because that concrete reality is not actually real. Everything is real and unreal simultaneously. And so that is why when you do have strong belief systems, they're real and unreal. Real in the dream, but unreal as reality with a capital R because nothing is actually happening. Only something can happen within the appearance of time. And so movement seems to happen. A journey seems to appear, but it's not real. There's no steps to this. There's no movement to this. If there is steps, movement, and a process to this, it's a teaching. It's linear. It's a subject-object relationship. How does wholeness and why would wholeness need to practice to reveal itself? Oh, you might, have a, you might have a belief about that, yeah? There might be a story that you heard from somebody else, that you have karma, that you have inner child trauma to heal, that you have past life trauma to heal. Those are all beautiful and accepted and wonder, wonderful manifestations of the absolute, but it's a story. Mm, it's a complete and total fable, real and unreal. And when it's seen through that these stories are unreal, they are formlessness appearing as solidity, they're gone. There's no foundation. There's nothing for it to grip or grasp to because the one who is grisp grisping, <laughs> grasping and gripping is no longer present, you could say. The personal identity truly never was present. It's a dream. It's added commentary. It's a ghost. Sometimes a poltergeist. No, I was kidding. But it's not actually there. And that is the fucking gospel is that the ego is not there. Personal identity is not actually there. But the more you meet teachers and beings who reinforce your separation, that you're broken, that you need to go on a healing journey, the more the sense of separation is inflated, the more your personal identity is into the ground, which is also illusory, real, and unreal. So I'm not a teacher nor a guide. I'm really just a reflector, I guess you could say, of just what is. There's nothing for you to do because there's no separate you. There's no free will. There's no choice. There's only what seems to be appearing. And what's appearing is total. This could be sadness. This could be fear. This could be frustration. This could be joy, ecstasy, romance hard opening experiences. There are no rules. There are no authority here. Nothing is off limits. But to deny or push emotions away, manipulate emotions, manipulate what is, is all for the person. And I get it. Teachers teach you to raise your vibration. Think positively. Don't feel sad. If you're sad, there must be some healing you need to do. Ah. Do you think when it storms that the sky needs to heal? Or when there's a tornado that that mother nature's broken? Get out of town. Nothing's wrong. Everything is perfect, but not perfect through the lens of personal identity because personal identity always has a list of what perfection is. It's a fantasy. And while the personal identity fantasizes of what it wants, what is to be, what is, is timelessly, orgasmically, radically, whole, perfect, and complete. This is paradise, or what we call heaven, but not for the person. The person will chase its tail until there's a hole in the ground. <laughs> it buries itself under its own ideations, concepts, and beliefs, which have no validity.
There's nothing for sale. There's nothing for you to do. For me to say you should do A, B, and C before you can receive this is utter nonsense because who would receive it? There is actually no receiving in creation. Receiving implies two, duality. But duality is a dream. It's fictitious. It's an illusion. There is only this. It's a mystery. It's unknowing. This is not about understanding with your noggin. This is not about logic. This is not about knowing because knowing is about control, manipulation. It's about loss of the one who thinks they know what this is. But you're home, beloved. You are home. Welcome.